There are five key criteria that we use to analyze our competitors. Uh, I am the VP of sales and marketing of a B2B SaaS company. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the exact criteria that we use and show you what, um, how we organize that information in this competitor analysis template for Google Sheets. I am also going to show you the exact prompt that you can use to analyze your competitors and just simply drop the prompt into either ChatGPT or Gemini, have it do the research on your behalf, and then give you an output that you can copy and paste right into the Google Sheet template that I'm gonna show you today. So let me jump in here. I'll go back to the Google Sheet. Um, you can see here, and I'll include a link to this below. Um, when you go and you get a link to this, you can make a copy of the Google Sheet. There are multiple tabs. This is first the Read Me tab. It's gonna give you a guide of what's included inside. Uh, if you want all of the operating templates that I use to run our sales team, um, just download the VPS sales playbook. It gives you everything to both uh, develop your strategy as well as execute tactically towards hitting your aggressive revenue goals. Um, next, you have our actual competitor analysis itself. This is a blank template. I build these so that you have both a blank template and then an example for inspiration. And so what do we use competitor analysis for? Um, when we are in a market, uh, whether it's a new product uh, in an existing market or a new market with the same product, you have different competitors and alternatives, as you know, uh, that you want to take a look at. And so we like to start out by doing a detailed analysis on these competitors so that we can inform our product related activities, our marketing activities, our sales activities. Um, it really informs uh, many different motions within the organization. So what I've done here is I've laid out the key criteria that we use. Um, and it starts with just a basic company profile here. And so uh, you can do this research manually, but there's really no need to nowadays with the, uh, with the advantages of, that AI provides. So we start with the company profile, then we get into the key features and capabilities as it pertains to the product suite that you offer, and maybe even some feature sets that your customers care about that you don't offer, but they do. You want to include them here. Um, then we talk about the, the, the and analyze the go-to-market strategy breakdown of your competitors. Um, we want to understand what's the organic content they're producing, the paid channels. Do they have an SDR team? What's their um, domain uh, authority? Any main offers that they have, like how they're structuring their offers, and then um, key partnerships. And so this is just to give you a sense of like, where are the competitors winning? Where are they all investing their dollars and where are they winning to maybe give you some insights of, um, of where you want to focus your go-to-market efforts. And then we've got customer insights here. Customer insights, you think about like public third-party review sites like G2, although you know, to an extent those systems can be a bit gamed. It's a bit pay to play. Um, CEO that I report to, uh, he can't stand these types of business models, but that's a story for another day. Um, so customer insights, the, your, the, their customers through these platforms or any other public sources that you can find will share their strengths, complaints, uh, top praise quotes, and uh, any risk factors of adopting their technology. That's really important too. Uh, like I said, we're a B2B SaaS company. And so um, understanding uh, how easy the tool is to use, how easy it is to implement, um, is it buggy or not? These are, these are critical insights that can arm your marketing team and your sales team with ammo to win competitive deals. And then lastly, uh, SWOT analysis. This is your classic management consulting analysis where you're identifying strengths and weaknesses and then opportunities and threats. So I think of strengths and weaknesses as internal facing and opportunities and threats as external. So that is the framework for the competitive analysis. Now when we go down here to the example, uh, I populated this. I just picked up uh, some, you know, some random domains here uh, that are software companies. Example.com is actually not, but I wanted to demonstrate to you that this is an example. Uh, so you can have as many as you want. Uh, nowadays, SaaS is hyper competitive. So you probably have 10 or 20 or 30 competitors that you could list in here. And it would take you a very long time if you had to do this manually on your own. And so you can see what this would look like as a final product. It's very easy to read very easy to scan and understand. Um, and this can be shared across, <clears throat> across departments for, uh, for folks to understand the competitive landscape, but also to make decisions. And so instead of doing this research on your own, I've given you the whole prompt here. All you have to do one at a time is just type in what competitor are you researching? In this case, I chose this uh, sales CRM closed.io. 
as an example. That will then concatenate the text into the AI prompt. You then copy that prompt. You open up your Gemini or ChatGPT and you paste it in here. Um, and here's the profile right here. I mean, in a matter of seconds, you have a full detailed breakdown of all the criteria that I just messaged, that I just uh, highlighted in the template itself. And so then you can copy this and paste it over and then modify it based on your understanding of the competitive landscape as well. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I'll include a link so that you can download and make a copy of the competitor analysis. Until next time, uh, like I said, if you want, you get the, the, uh, the VPS sales playbook for all of the operating templates that we use to run sales. Uh, we also have a VP of marketing playbook as well that you can check out. So until next time, uh, happy analysis uh, for your competitors. I hope this is helpful and powerful for you.